What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. This is it. Final videos. Robbie's Ultimate Console Edition 39 terabytes. We're 99% done. Uh, so this video is going to go out basically to Robbie and to everybody that's watching. I've been a little MIA. Been a little bit busy actually. Uh, got a lot of things going on. You're going to see a couple of videos coming up of other arcade builds, but right now focusing on Robbie's Ultimate Console Beast Killer. I don't even know what I called it, but it is the Ultimate Gaming Console. Um, basically, this thing has everything. Um, I want to give this video basically just a quick rundown so Robbie could take a look at everything. Um, just finished up PC games, just finished up Techno Parrot. Uh, you know, we got the Wiimotes and stuff, but let's just go to basics. On this build for Hyperspin, we do have a hundred systems for Robbie. Robbie, buddy, if you can, just take a quick look down the list to make sure that we are not missing them. Um, I'm pretty excited because I did. Um, I work on this every night. Again, I do have a real job, and then I work on the builds after work, and you know, after the wife falls asleep. So I get a good maybe four to five hours a day doing it. Um, right now, projected for Robbie, I'm a little bit early. Uh, I am definitely wanting to get it to you before Thanksgiving, like you messaged me about, and I really think it's going to happen, buddy. Uh, as far as in my book right now, this is totally complete. Um, basically, it's just testing now. I'm going to be playing a couple of games. That's in a video later on. And before I send it out, I mean, this is like a, this is something that I've always wanted to do, and I have to do it. Robbie, I'm going to take your PC. And I'm going to bring it upstairs to my 120-inch projector. And I'm planning to play a couple of games on it. And I'm hoping the Wiimotes will work on it too. So stay tuned for those. But again, Robbie, just real quick, if you can, buddy, let's just go down the list. Make sure we have all the systems that you wanted. American Laser Systems. You got the Ataris, Jaguar. Again, I was talking, so I hope you were kind of looking it up. Again, just want to make sure that we have the systems that you want. Microsoft, MSX, 3DS. I'll scroll down a little bit. You can always pause, buddy. Again, you could always pause it. I don't want to go too fast because I don't want to make this video too long. I'm going to basically be shooting a couple of tutorial videos. Uh, nothing, nothing bad, nothing drastic, nothing difficult. Um... In another video, maybe I'll discuss, you know, my pros and cons with the setup. Again, keep in mind, Robbie's build, he did want PlayStation controllers. These PS4 controllers are noted on Windows as D input. Uh, normally, Xbox controllers are labeled as X input. All the games can read X input. I'll be brutally honest, some of the games just don't cooperate well with the PlayStation 4. What I mean by that is PC games. All the emulated systems are fine because they work with this. No need to worry. It is more about the PC games. There's a couple of PC games that are kind of wonky. Some don't work at all. I even have a couple of programs like this at the bottom called X input, uh, X output, I should say, where some games you will actually need to run this X output system to get the game to recognize the controller. I've used Xbox X360 CE on a couple. Again, Robbie, you don't need to know this stuff. I'm just kind of shooting and talking to everybody else. Um, you know, there are programs that emulate any controller. You could have any controller, and it makes it look like an Xbox controller. But some games, as far as the actual PlayStation controller, it was a little bit of a, of a hassle, a little bit of a, of a big kind of tedious thing. So I would probably say, and again, we just updated the PC games. Check this out. PC games. Let me, I was, I was uh, working on some typing and some titles. PC games right now, we are 231. I believe I hit 3 terabytes because we do have on this newly updated, we do have, where is it, where is it? Biggest one that Robbie wanted was Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, we do have, I believe, Marvel Avengers right there. Um, Resident Evil 2. Uh, what else was there? There was a couple of new ones that we got for Rob. I got for Robbie. So, again, a lot of stuff. Uh, originally 37 terabytes. Robbie was like, Vic, take away some of the games that you don't think I would like. That is such a difficult thing to ask me to do. So, 
hooked them up with a two terabyte hard drive, got them cheap. Uh, I have a close friend of mine in Micro Center, so I got it cheap. And basically now we're at 39 terabytes. Robbie basically has the entire PC game library, and I do have some space still open. I'm going to show you real quick as far as this PC, how the breakdown is. The C drive, I always leave about 100 gigs. I, I am missing media files. That's going to be the next thing. I'm going to do the media files for all the new systems that we added, uh, meaning like the MS-DOS, um, the Sega Saturn Japan. Like I don't have the media on that yet. So that 145 will definitely be lower. Big thing is to notice real quick, the two terabyte drives, that, the, two, the two hard drives, I should say, the F drive, you can see there is at 28 gigs. I normally don't like it that low, um, but it's A-OK. -okay. This is fine. And then our O drive has 100 gigs too. Because you got to remember that when you do play the games, save the games, there is some files that get made. I don't really like to go past 50 gigs, so I might have to move something from the F drive over, but nothing too drastic. My P drive is the new one that I put in for you, buddy. That's the two terabyte drive I put in. Um, again, doing the PC games on it. Basically, right now, I am I put Epic Games Launcher in it. This was something that you didn't really want, but also remember, like every everything every week, Epic Games launches new games, and they're free games. I should say they they launch free games. So this a library is my personal one. It does get kind of updated. The biggest thing about this though was the Grand Theft Auto Five online. Um, so that's why I do have it. I am downloading it so you could play online. Uh, as you can see, though, I do have other things. Like, they just put this Ghostbusters game up. It's a Blair Witch game, so pretty cool. Might as well have it. So I know for a fact um, this will probably bring down a lot. It's not a fact. It's, it's a fact that this 297 will probably jump down to about 100 gigs. Uh, we do have Epic Games. I did also put Battle.net. I know you're not a fan of Call of Duty, but uh, the video I want to put on with the projector... I do have to download Call of Duty Warzone just so people can see the video. So that right there is about 100 gigs alone. And I also did put Riot Games. This is um, League of Legends. It's a free game. You might get into it. Who knows? Why not? It's there. And we have the space for it. So it's nothing too drastic. Um, but yes, so far so good. Uh, let me just try to think. What do I want to do? Because like I said, I'm going to do tutorials as far as getting other systems to work um let's take a look real quick at the shotgun wheel um we'll dive into the wii modes right now that's what i'll discuss right now so i do have shotgun games these are all mam arcade games literally mame mam somebody everybody keeps mentioning on youtube uh in the comments mame arcade i will get used to it um so you can see there is alien uh you requested there is a jurassic park game this is the older one um so it is there uh, big thing uh, about these Wiimotes, they're cool. I mean, they are cool. Uh, me, me personally, I would highly suggest an aim track over these Wiimotes. But the Wiimotes do work very well as far as the actual Wii emulation. Um, on your Wii bar, the Mayflash bar, there's four modes. You only need to know two of them. There's mode two and there's mode four. Uh, Mam Arcade is mode two. It basically emulates two mice. Um, Real quick, Techno Parrot trying to get Transformers, Luigi's Mansion. I couldn't get two players to work. Um, it is running off of one player. So, again, I'm going to do a Techno Parrot tutorial on its own. Um, but as far as that, just real quick, I want to show you. It's going to go real fast, but this is where I get into customizing and making and going in depth as far as everyone's builds. Um, I'm going to launch this Jurassic Park. Uh, I have my Wii Motes, my, my Wii Motes, my May Flash Bars in front of me. Um, I'm going to launch this. The big thing is that you're going to see the loading screen. Just keep your eye to the right because I helped you out. So as you can see, it says it loading right there. Loading complete. On the right side, it says set to mode 2. So on the right side of the May Flash Bar, there's a button to switch the mode. So you will see mode 2. Um, for MAME, anything with mode 2, you do need both. Um, May flash bars plugged into the USB. I'm going to turn on my Wiimotes. Basically, one Wiimote is assigned to one May flash bar, and the other one is assigned to the other one. So now, with this, and again, I'll do a tutorial, don't worry. I basically have... Good luck. Let me lower it. Sorry about that. So I basically have 
the everything basically mapped onto the Wii mode. So these coins are the D pad up, and the start is the actual trigger. So I right now have player two on my hands. I'm just a little bit too close to the actual Mayflash bar. But as you can see right now, using the Wii mode, <laughs> I'm looking at myself on the camera. Um, so as you can see, like press start button, I have to press the trigger on the actual Wii mode, and now we have two player action on this. Now the only thing about the Wii mode, so you have to be kind of careful. It is basically uh, mode two, and I'll give you the manual. It's actually emulating a couple of keyboard shortcuts. So, for example, like the D-pad is keyboard up, down, left, right. The cool thing and the not so cool thing is that there's a minus on like the home button. That's actually escape. So you could use the Wii modes to basically navigate. Um, so that's pretty cool. Again, I'll even launch real quick another one. Um, we'll launch like, for example, Time Crisis. Just look to the right and you will see set to mode two i know it's quick that's because these pcs and all that i mean 16 gigs of ram the speed on these are insane so again i'm just a little bit too close to the may flash bar but it does work so no need to worry so again if i press up on the d-pad i'm doing all that again i'm just a little bit too close um i wish to no i don't say i want to wish uh just the computer the actual um desktop Maybe if I'm underneath the table, you could route the wires behind your, your you know, table. And, you know, you could put the May flash bars on top of the screen or on the bottom. I have them set to the bottom. This is cool. So, again, I have the B button. That's the front button here. That's like your stepper. So, we could step. And, pew, pew. yeah, there we go. So, honestly, with these May flash bars, um, no calibration needed. Very um, good, I'll be honest. Very pristine, very precise. I do like them about that. There's no need to calibrate. And not much other than, other than just like the issue I'm having with the two players as far as Techno Parrot. There's nothing else really to, to worry about with these. So I'm going to turn that off real quick now. And this is something cool as far as now we're going to go into the Wii. Um, you could actually use one May flash bar. Um, so one May flash bar can connect up to four Wii modes, emulating real Wii. Um, so mode four on the manual, it does say that it is a real Wii mode, like it's it's emulating a real Wii mode. So you could keep both on. Uh, we're gonna go now to basically four. You kind of hear like a Windows chime, a disconnect, but I am good to go there. You kind of hear it. I should actually bump the volume. So I'm going to do it on one. It's like disconnect, connect, disconnect, connect. So right now I'm on mode four. We're going to go to, let's just do the Wii. And uh, you could connect the nunchucks or you don't have to, but depending on the game. Again, it is basically mode four emulates a real Wii. So now the big thing is that when you do change the mode, uh, the Wii mode turns off. So you just got to kind of turn it on. And now it's got like player one. And I always, I, my main man, Mario, I, I love, I, that's what, that's childhood to me. We're going to load up some Mario. Loading complete. So I don't know if you saw that real quick on the top right. It did say mode four. The Wiimote just rumbled and it says on the top left, Wiimote connected. So now I always forget you have to. To the left or right, I forget what hand you put the Wiimote, uh, the nunchuck on. But right now, again, using the actual Wiimote, and you can see there. So now what's cool about this is that I do have the other one off. I believe if I turn it on. Mm -mm -mm. Player two is there. It's on that star there. You see that star? But for right now... Play this file. We're gonna turn off Wii Mode too. So I like that. It's kind of like a long press. Oh, I gotta go through the cutscene. <laughs> I'll cut when this is done. <laughs> All right. So again, we do have the Wii emulating. I am not holding the nunchuck. <laughs> so nunchuck. That's set. And again, it's 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 set to emulate a real Wii Mode. So you don't have to do any settings to it. 
Do I have my little cursor? Again, I'm a little bit too close to the Mayflash bar right now. <laughs> Let's spin around. I'm just a little bit too close. Hold on. There we go. See, that's like... I mean, right now, I'd say it's about maybe three feet away. Before, I was a little bit too close. So, right now, I'm going to be able to do this. I could spin. Now, he did ask me, and I'll do it later on in another video, about the WiiWare. To see if it recognizes the actual, like, shake. And I believe it does, because it is emulating a real Wii. So, pretty cool. Um, again, it's just like a Wii, so it's it's got the start and all that. Um, I do have it set, I believe, still. Um, you could still use the PlayStation controller. Let's just see. I don't want to look dumb. Nope, I look dumb. <laughs> You're going to just press escape on the keyboard to exit out. So now, the only thing about, like, the Wii motes when you are on the Wii, again, luckily with Robbie, with his setup, like, you know, he'll have a keyboard handy. You just have to press escape to exit emulators. Uh, it basically knocks out any other controllers to make the Wii motes work, apparently. But the Wii works. I'm going to check out that game you told me, uh, which was, like, WarioWare, I think you told me. WarioWare. Might as well play it real quick, why not? Loading so complete. you can see there, set to mode 4. So it's just giving you a heads up, like, hey, be sure to set this to mode 4. On the top left, it did say controller 1 connected. That's a good sign. I never played this game, so... I'll move my controller. You definitely don't want anything in the way um, as far as the um, May flash bars. So... I guess that's something that you can answer right now. Is you ask me if it does recognize shake. And I guess it is. Just a little bit too close. She's back a little. So as far as a shake you were saying? I'm doing something. I'm doing some karate chops. Alright, let's see. I just put a V. Again, definitely want to maybe push, like, the... You know, put the May flash bar maybe a little bit, not farther, but on top of the screen. Um, again, when I do shoot the video of, like, on the actual, like, projector, uh, you'll, you'll most likely be playing this game, like, standing. But it works. I mean, it's something major. I'm not too sure what this game is about, so... <laughs> disconnect the balance stone. It wants me to disconnect the Wiimote. Okay. So you can see there, it does recognize it as the real Wiimote. So it's like, hey, get rid of that Wiimote. Get rid of that num jump. What's happening here? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Remote control. Hold the form baton straight. With the tip pointing forward. This simple stance reflects one of life's fiercest and greatest sports. Channel surfing. <laughs> okay. What am I doing? Oh, okay, I gotcha. I understand now, okay.
What the hell's happening? <laughs> Robbie, I hope you play this game better on your YouTube channel than I am. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Alright, okay. So, I mean, it is, again, recognizing it as a real Wiimote. Cool. So, again, big thing right now is that you will have to use the keyboard and press escape out because, again, setting the main flash bar to channel 4 or mode 4, uh, it kind of, not screws around with the windows, but it now kind of disconnects my uh, PlayStation controllers. Um, so, again, just keep that in mind. Again, small, small video. It's probably like 20 minutes long already. Um, but again, stay tuned. You're going to see a lot of basically tutorial videos. Um, again, it's going great. Definitely, you know, this thing right now is just in testing phase to make sure it is running flawlessly. And um, so far, so good. Like I said, my only little, little, little gripe is uh, the PlayStation 4 controllers. They are great. But if you could see here, you see this green? Um, and I did notice it even with Joy to Key. Um, it's like... It's like there's a button that's always being constantly pressed. Um, so you could even see, like, I, I think it's like the, the, the analog sticks are very sensitive. I'm not too sure what exactly it is, but, like, you could see, like, right here, they are shaking a little bit. Even if I hold it steady, it just shakes a little bit. So it Joy to Key picks it up as movement. Um, other thing I did notice is that when I was setting up this, like, output, X output, um, that Y rotation, which is R2, um, you can see how L2 is, like it's off. R2 has to be like inverted. Um, again, it's a couple of things. It's just, you know, it, it is what it is, but it does work. Uh, it's just, you know, sometimes I was dealing with a headache, meaning that, you know, it was getting tedious. Sometimes I kept getting like this error and I kept reading a button that I wasn't pressing. But all in all, it is going great. It is going good. Mame, all your classics, no need to worry about anything. It's just more about like the PC games.